Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukal ajisa, da'ifa, miskeen, azal, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah in the month of Safar and the reality of 18 and the reality of Ashab al-Kahf and the immensity that being understood of the cave that when Allah is, is giving to us, when they come and make you to try to worship something other than Allah and these are the Dajjalic systems that come and say that there are other beings that have created us and planted us onto this earth and a whole Dajjalic system that will be implemented and Allah gives to us our solution and the youths they ran to the cave. And those whom face a difficulty because Qur'an is not a story from old but how to apply that in our life today. That every time we have a difficulty Allah is not commanding us to fight the difficulty because we have to seek refuge in Allah from shaitan and never confront shaitan, nobody has that strength. And what Allah is asking from us is, run to the cave and be from those who run to the cave and then Allah's promise is, I'm going to then spread out a mercy for you and settle your affairs. So there's a location involved, there's an action in which Allah wants us to direct ourselves to a cave and in that cave that we make within our heart and the greatest cave is within the heart of human beings. They must retreat inward not outward and as soon as they take a way in which to understand muraqabah and contemplation and that they retreat within their heart and to learn how to be from Ashab al kaf how to be from the companions of the cave in which they trained and which to enter into their hearts, how to retreat into their hearts and that Allah settle their affairs. When the busy world says, I have no time. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh I'm to do these things I have to run and make some money. And that's the way of shaitan to busy somebody from the remembrance of Allah And Allah is reminding us that any time difficulty comes to you, remember Ashab al kaf and run to the cave, enter into your heart. The greatest cave of Allah is Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah. Run to the house of Allah so that you make your heart Allah's home and that Allah's light and love emanate within the home. And then that love and ishq has to be filled with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad It's now the beatific heart of Allah Because you can't run to a heart filled with hypocrisy and bad character but to a heart that has an ishq and love for Allah And the greatest love and the greatest way to show your love for Allah is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad more than you love yourself, your family, your children and your wealth. 
That ishq and that love makes the home and the heart of the believer to be beautiful. In which Allah then describing is going to be filled with the rahmah because Prophet's light is Allah's rahmah. And when the light of Prophet emanates within the heart of the believer, that light settles all affairs, makes everything to be beautific, everything to be corrected. That's why we have Salawat al-Fatiha that by the light of truth, the Rasul of truth will settle and, and correct everything. Anything locked will be opened that's appropriate and necessary for the servant, inappropriate never opens. If the servant is loved by Allah and they're praying for their own destruction it doesn't open. That which Allah agrees that is appropriate and good for you with these salawats that heart begins to open. That heart then becomes the cave and Allah and this is a synopsis of our week of talk. Then Allah describes the Ashab al Kaf that we veiled their ears and they went into their trance. And we said then Allah is giving us that for people to enter a state of tafakkur in which they're able to sleep and move through time and space of 309 years, Allah signifies their hearing. A parda or hijab was put upon their hearing not a on their eyes. Why? Because the door to these entire realities Surat Al-Kahf is the way of tariqah, is the door that the turuqs are getting their isharat and their discipline of guidance. Every reality of isharat its root is in Surat Al-Kahf. Allah put it to be the guidance for guides so that when they're entering in the cave Allah is teaching the guides then teach them that the secret of their slumber because remember they enter a state in which they're sleeping and moving through 309 years but Allah describes if you saw them you would think they're awake. So if you saw them you would think they're awake, what state is that? So then Allah then drawing our attention then we veiled their hearing. As a result of the veil upon hearing then the shaykhs are responsible to teach that, O oh students be from Ashab al-Kahf, understand the battle is for your ears. Now there are two caves being made, one for shaitan and he is taking everybody to his cave to eat them, literally eat them. So people go missing, where do you think they're going? Children are going missing in tens of thousands, where are they missing? Who, who's taking them? Means Dajjal's cave is already operating and the people who go missing and all sorts of horrific things that are happening, they are being summoned, called and stolen and taken and put into those caves. Allah by the grace and mercy that He sent upon this earth of Sayyidina Muhammad I wouldn't have sent him except that Prophet is a rahmah and the door to Allah's Divine the Presence. So there's a cave of rahmah and mercy. If you think you're going to spend your life standing on the street and not making a choice then Dajjal will make that choice for you, grab you and throw you into a satanic cave. And we described the characteristics in Surat Al-Kahf Allah describes who are the ones guided to the cave of Rahmah? They're under the tarbiyah of Waliun Murshidun. So Allah by a, like a negative, double negative describes that 
Those whom we guide are truly guided, so they're clear. Those whom we do not guide will not have waliun mushidun. they will not have them. So anyone who thinks they're clever that they don't need a wali, you came under that contract. You've admitted that you are not a guided person by Allah so there's a cave of somebody going to eat you. You're not staying in the middle of this road. What's coming onto this earth, there's but two, two doors. Either under Allah's rahmah or Allah is not guided that individual and Dajjal will grab them. So mass majority of the human race are not guided and won't be guided. It's their good character and their love and ishq and that's why everything is being pushed right now to teach the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad And by that love and by that ishq, the rahmah and the mercy of Allah begin to enter upon the heart of that servant. And when they understood that they're under waliun murshidun, that they, they accepted in their life to have awliyaullah guide them and that their murshid is a saintly guide, that they have the signs of wilayat and that their uloom and their knowledge not from this dunya, not from these books. Their understanding of Qur'an not printed in somebody's book but continuously coming fresh from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that reality they are being guided and those whom are guided they're being taught, what? Your ears. So why tariqah then is what? Samina wa ahtana because this was the rightly guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad in which he told his companions, we're not like the cousins where you're going to ask me a thousand questions and, and continuously doubt. But he raised his holy companions in the rank of Samina wa tana. What we heard, we firmly obeyed. We obeyed and we believed with our entire heart and 124,000 companions all with yaqeen. All with the perfection of character, the perfection of faith. Means then that became the importance of the veil of hearing. So then the students are to taught that lift the veil. The battle now has begun for the hearing of insan and he's putting every device possible onto their ears. He's putting every type of isharat onto their ears. He's putting every type of waswas onto their ears. So the steps and the reality of tafakkur is that the servant has to be able to train themselves to sit and contemplate. Visualize their waliun murshidun was Allah's command in Holy Qur'an, not my teaching, not my words. They have to visualize that wali because the wali whom can guide them is free from time and space, must be able to reach you with their soul and you must be able to connect to their soul, not their physicality. You use the physicality like a door, you didn't enter into the house just because you seen the door but you use the door to enter the home and Allah teaches every home use the proper entrance. Means these are baytullah, that's why Allah is teaching when you enter into a home don't go through the back because baytullah you go through the front door. You go to the presence of the shaykh, connect your heart with the shaykh, visualize the soul and the light of the shaykh and as a result of that light and that soul you begin to make your connection with the shaykh. Then the shaykh through their teachings and their tarbiyah teach you control the ears. Hear these teachings and nothing else, don't mix this and that, become familiar with the voice. Become familiar with the teaching 
so that you're tuned into the tune of the shaykh, that you're vibrating at the vibration of the shaykh and that light and that reality. And then they begin to train you not to listen to this, not to listen to that, to listen to your salawats, listen to Holy Qur'an but listen to the salawats have an immense power. That the salawat brings a light and a power upon the soul and they then begin to train that your soul's energy is now going to be based on this hearing. We can raise the vibration of energy into your soul by what's being sent of sound, Sifat al-Sami, Sami al-Basir. I'll link these, why? Because what you hear will determine what you see. So you cannot be Ahlul Basira if you're not Ahlul Sami. There's nobody who sees that doesn't listen. The one whom sees but never trained in listening sees shaitan and ifrit and all the magic that they're doing. But what Allah want from servants, Sami al Basir, that there are people whom which their sifat is Sami, Allah's hearing, their all hearing has been disciplined upon their training. That they hear the talks, they hear the discipline, they hear the guidance, they don't need to understand more than once or twice. Doesn't mean that the shaykh has to keep saying it a hundred times and then we implement it again a hundred times and when I forget two weeks later then I go a different direction. But our life is that, I hear it, samina wa tana, and I tee, I obey, I heard and I try my best in life to make everything in my life to implement that reality so that I can gain that characteristic of that maqam. Otherwise I'm the person who hears thumma manu, thumma kafaru. One day I believe it and I act by it and then most of the days I don't believe it and I don't act by it. And they never reach the key for this sifa to open. If this doesn't open the eyes of the heart will never open. And this sifat of hearing is the the doorway to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Because Prophet was training that your hearing has to be perfected so the seeing can open. And that's why Allah told the companions through Qur'an, don't ask Prophet to listen to you but ask Prophet for his nazar. His ears are locked only for Allah means the champion of Sifat al-Sami. So what he gained is that title, Ya Seen, that he is the perfected yaqeen of Sifat al-Sami. As a result of the perfection of hearing is the rank above all Prophets because the one who hears talks. The one who hears Allah talks for Allah In the audience of Prophets, the one whom hears Allah to perfection is the one who talks for Allah That rank of Yaseen Habib and Allah's love is attached, I love you, you're the only one who hears me as a matter of fact and everyone else hears you, not Allah. Because of that rank Prophet is then teaching us because this is the master of Risalat and Messenger is that you must rank in your hearing not in your seeing. That a nation in which they rank into the adherence of what their guidance is then can inherit from this reality of Yaseen in which Allah grants the servant the perfection of their hearing. They struggle their best to hear the way, hear the teaching, hear the reality. As a result of that Allah grants them from Ya is a Yaqeen. They will have a Yaqeen of Sifat Asami and they hear with a certainty. As a result the perfection of their inner voice and what is hearing. 
Because now we're going to understand what's, what's happening with hearing. What is the a vibration that comes to you that begins to emanate onto your ear, produces an energy. At one level this vibration is making a sound and you're paying attention to the sound of the vibration but in reality that vibration is also causing a energy on your soul. So the superficial person thinks, it's only something I'm hearing. The spiritually trained understands, no that vibration that's coming and the energy that's coming onto your eardrums is actually causing an effect onto your soul. If the vibration is very low and bad sounds and inappropriate words, shaitan is bombarding, shooting and destroying your soul and that's exactly what he wanted to do. It's a weapon. Hearing can be weaponized. So he makes a sound that's not right and not appropriate because he's not worried that your ears are going to go bad but he's worried about the vibration that hits your soul will darken it. So he has an advanced understanding of energy and the reality of light is based on sound. Science knows that now, that a luminous light is controlled by an energy and a sound. Means the sound is coming, produces an energy and then the control of the lumination. If you want to change the lumination to not be so luminous, you have to change the energy. How do you change the energy? Is affect the sound. So it means he bombards the servant with very bad sounds, negative sounds and then darkens the soul and brings down the reality of the soul. So then Allah is directing our attention to the master of hearing and Prophet is inspiring in the guidance that you must fight for the hearing, you must fight to keep your ears clean, you must fight to, to keep the isharat, keep the guidance, keep the teachings, discipline yourself to listening to that reality of the shaykh, continuously listening to the talks, listening to the videos so that the vibration of his voice and his teachings and his soul is emanating onto your ears. And from your ears it's going to affect the vibration of your soul until he can attune from the soul to soul connection. And there's an attuning taking place, those whom listen, why? The companions. The master of them, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that what we hear we obeyed. When they tried to spread fitnas they get lost. Whatever Sayyidina Muhammad says for us, we hear and we obey it because fully attuned to the soul of Prophet and they understood that they had to attune to the reality and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad to become Muhammadiyoon, filled with the prophetic light in which Allah describes in Qur'an, Fikum, that the light of Prophet is always amongst you, one by the light and the nur from your salawats and by ashiqeen, they are with whom you love, Prophet described you will be with whom you love. Ashiqeen, they have an immense love for Prophet As a result, they keep the vibration of Prophet Every time you make durood sharif and you send that salawat out, what Prophet described, I'm going to come back and make a salawat upon you ten times. Means what now? The vibration of Prophet is now sending on to your soul. Do you feel it? That's why some people make salawats and they feel immense energy. It's not from their salawat, it's from Sayyidina Muhammad making 10 salawat upon your soul from his maqam And that's why the salawat is raising you very fast. That's why the Naat Sharif said, I don't know Agha Khubi, which is the one the Naat, 
Aga Karam, the yeah Karam. So I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I got this station and people think, oh I'm a special person. No, he didn't get there from his station, he got there from the salawat. When he made his durood the sharif and this is the reality of hearing Prophet described, Allah will let my soul come and remember you. That vibration that comes back to the soul from Sayyidina Muhammad that soul like a rocket now is shooting up into the heavens. The one whom is continuously making durood al-sharif is continuously being raised, being perfected, the energy of their soul being uh, perfected. And as a result they energize their soul, they energize their hearing, they reach the perfection of sincerity with their durood al-sharif and their love for Prophet And as a result they have a power in their hearing. Their soul is powered by what? The perfection of hearing, Sami and then Basir. So then Allah describing those who entered into the cave, we put a veil upon their hearing. Means they were trained in their hearing how to block off unnecessary sounds, how to energize their soul, how to empower their soul and keep a continuous block on their hearing. Why? Because the whole world wants to guide you. Every relative is going to come and guide you and all the relatives who said there is no need for a guide, they are the shaykh of no guidance. And they come to you say, you don't need a guide. Oh, so you're the shaykh of no guidance. Because everybody has something to say, even the one who says that nothing should be said. Everyone has something, mean everyone is fighting for the hearing of insan. That's the way shaitan has put his battle. As a result they become victorious. They understood my hearing only for Allah for the way of haqqaiqs and reality. Because that hearing is going to perfect my heart. If I can hear the reality and discipline my hearing then the heart begins to open and Allah grant them basir that they become Ahlul Basira means they begin to see what other servants don't see. They hear what other servants don't hear. And this is from Allah's muhabbat and love for the people of the cave in which Allah showered them with a rahmah. And as a result of the tajalli and the blessings means then Allah sets their affairs to be straight. Why? The one whom hears the reality sees the reality, no doubt Allah make a table to be spread of immense blessings for them. Because they reach the sincerity to hear the reality, see the reality, Allah then makes the sufra for them a, a life of spreading out their affairs. And that becomes the reality of Ashab al-Kahf. Then we reached to that point of how to discipline, how to practice. And inshaAllah we go into the verse 28 tomorrow night where Allah then now starts to give a understanding of people who don't make dhikrullah. And the nazar of Prophet Allah we can talk on that, we talk tomorrow inshaAllah on that. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa ba siri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five bands, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.